Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is going to cover the page setup. Now I've got a little document open up on screen so you can see the text and to set your page up you need to do it at the very beginning of the document so when you start a brand new document really. But where you would go, you go to the tab page layout and then you come down to the page setup group. Now the first thing that you will see is the margins. Now these are uh, preset margins. You just click your little drop down list and you've got a set of preset margins. So your top and bottom, left and right. I like an inch all round so that's why it's 2.54. You come down here, normal is an inch all round but I've just made a custom one. You've got a narrow margin, top and bottom half an inch like 1.27 centimeters left and right so you can just select any one of them mirrored margins I'll explain what they're about in a second um, but it's when you if you write in a book or something like that that's when you would have the mirror margins but I'll show you them in more detail in a second so all you would do here is simply select the margin that you want orientation of the paper is here now this is whether you want portrait which is default to most documents or landscape if you wanted landscape you just select that and that'll switch it round paper size this is the paper size the default paper size is A4 for UK but you just pick whichever size that you want and that will apply to this document A4 is the default on this machine Columns, um, I'll come to columns uh, in the next video because I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a, a video just on the breaks which is the page breaks and section breaks and the columns, I'll do them all as one. Line numbers, well you can put all line numbers in so you can have you know continuous line numbers and that'll put your line numbers down. That's, we find that very handy when we first uh, write in a manual and then we can say like you know page 6 line 102 uh, have a look at it so that's what we use that for quite it's quite handy uh, and a lot of times but it is line by line uh, we'll just say none to that we'll just take it off and hyphenation that's when you want to hyphenate your document I'll show you that in a second uh, and it's easier for me to explain because I'm actually showing you in it um, we'll just say none at the moment but you can hyphenate the document as well so setting your pages up is pretty much that simple but you might want to set it up through the dialog box now what you do here you just click on that little button that will then bring up your dialog box I'll put it in there so we can see it all there's three it consists of three tabs your layout your paper size and your margins now your margins tab is set here now I've got top margin 2.54 centimeters and the, the bottom is the same left margin now I can just spin them round if I want to and that'll adjust the margins and you can see here it's showing you down there what it's all about so it, it, it is pretty straightforward stuff if you go here look on the left margin watch this little left margin here just this little bit there as I spin it up and see it showing you and you get a little display it's only a little display but you know it's just to show you that it is picking it up your gutter your gutter is the area down here it would be down one side of your paper and it's for binding purposes so if I spin up uh, a gutter that's for binding or when you put them little holes in to put them in ring binders and things like that and this is the gutter position I can change it to the top so now you could do it at the bind it at the top or you can bind it to the left pretty pretty much uh, easy but very handy when you need it the orientation section of it is landscape portrait so you, it's literally either landscape or portrait then you come down to pages now your multiple pages you've got normal by default and this is that mirror margins I was explaining to you now when you click on the mirror margins notice the preview is showing you two pieces of paper 
Now the major difference to this is you lose your right and left margins because what you have now you've got what you call your inside margins which is this one to that one these two here and you've got your outside margins which is this one to that one so when you put these together like when you're reading a book and these two pages go together this margin goes to that margin and this inside one goes to that inside one so up here you've got your inside margin which is there and your outside margin which is there so it is for when you're making a book or if you're going to do you know double sided printing you need to know that the inside margins go together and the outside margins go together you've got two pages per sheet that's obviously so you can have two pages on one sheet and then you've got the book fold which is again similar but on one piece of paper it's similar to the mirror margins but it's on one piece of paper um, normal I'll just put it back to uh, that preview is just showing you roughly what it's going to look like and this down here is very important and uh, it's applied to the whole document or from this point forward so you you can you know work the entire document or just the one section section I'll show you that when it when I do the column breaks uh, you'll see it in a moment then you come to the paper tab which is here now this is obviously your sizes where you pick your sizes up and you know you just say well I want an A4, A5 whatever size you want yeah um, underneath you can actually spin up the, the sizes that you want your paper source this is for your printers now in a lot of companies they'll have the big printers and they'll have a default tray or automatic selected rear tray whatever but sometimes what they'll have is they'll have a high quality paper in let's say the rear tray and that's for like the front cover and then the other pages will go on the default tray which is the just normal paper um, but these are usually set up via your administrators uh, you've got your print options down here so you can set all your little print options up but these are just like your normal word options just your print section that's all but again it's knowing it's good to know that you can get to one from this dialog box the layout box is uh, the layout tab sorry is where you set up your sections so this is where you can say section start new page or continuous new column whatever but that's quite handy as well um, we'll just say new page then here is the headers and the footers again this is where you can set your headers and your footers up but I am doing a complete video just on headers and footers so if you want to know about headers and footers go watch my video headers and footers page alignment vertical alignment is the top by default but you can center it and you can put it at the bottom and and vertical alignment so that's vertical alignment um, default is top but you can play with that good for front covers down here notice that you've got your line numbers which I've already showed you and you've got your borders and shading now when you go to your borders and shading on this one notice it automatically takes you to the page border because we're working on the page we're working on the page itself page setup down here on the page borders you can get a little bit fancy and you can go and sh you can pick the actual pictures so this is worth you know this is really good if you're doing a little flyer or a poster or something like that there's l lots of little pictures down here just have a little check out it's good it's good little a good bit of fun but it's worth a little look anyway uh, <coughs> but that's your that's your page uh, that's your page borders there as well and that's your dialogue box there basically now <coughs> what I want to show you just before we close the video I'll just get rid of that box now I'm going to highlight just this block of text here I'm just gonna purely it's to show you this hyphenation basically I want to drop it into three columns so you've got your three column data and then what we'll do is I'll put the fully justified so you can see there it's looking pretty good now if I say 
hyphenate, yeah, an automatic. So hyphenate automatic. Notice how it's hyphenated all the words. So previous versions, look, there's the VER hyphenation there and then versions there. So what it's done effectively, it's hyphenated the words to make it look more parallel and neat and tidy on each. Just watch watch the text just so you can see the actual text. Yeah, can you see the words between the spaces between the words are quite big without hyphenation? Then we put the hyphenation on and it brings everything in nice and neat and tidy. That is the hyphenation. So that's what the hyphenation does. Really well worth knowing what it's about basically. But you can hyphenate a document as well as just columns. But it's easier for me to show you on the columns. And that is your page setup. Only one thing I will say to you about uh, what what one thing I want to add, sorry, is the purpose of your margins, left and right, top and bottom, but more left and right. The margins con control the length of your line. So if someone asks you to adjust the length of your line, you have to adjust your margins because that's what controls it. Now notice uh, here we're on 26 uh, sorry 24.62 centimeters line length so if somebody said to me adjust your line length I would then adjust my line my margin and notice now it now changes the line length the line length appears about here so just watch where my pointer is now now how I'm doing this I'm just putting me mouse on the margin line and I'm holding the alt key down and then clicking with the mouse notice 21.5 centimeters but it's just literally remembering margins control the length of your line and uh, worth knowing basically uh, that's it for this video now look out for my other videos which will be the um, page breaks, section breaks and column breaks and the headers and the footers because that's all relating to this video as well thank you very much for your time don't forget to check my other videos out and if you sign up and subscribe with our channel we do do requests so if you want to know how to do anything mail merge tables anything like that just uh, drop us an email and we'll do you a video as soon as we can thank you bye